Hi everyone. Uh, in today's video, we just focus on one um, topic. We want to learn how to add integers. We have five uh, objectives. They are all about, or they, they all involve uh, adding integers. So let's look at those one by one. First, we want to learn how to add integers with like signs, which means uh, the two integers have the same sign, either both positive or both negative. So let's look at our first example. Five plus eight, I know you already know the answer, but we want to know uh, the basic principle when you add uh, integers with like signs. So both are positive, you already know the answer is 13, right? So basically both positive, that means these two numbers go in the same direction and they will add up. So we have 13. Now look at the second one. Actually second one, we can use the exactly the same logic to do it. Again, the goal is to make sense out of anything we learn in mathematics. It's just, it's not just a formulas and uh, steps. We want to make sense out of it. Now, second of all, we have two negative numbers added together. Remember the first one is negative five, it's not minus five. Even though they use the same symbol, Minus is an operation. It has to be between two numbers. Without another number in front of it, this is not minus. This is a negative number. So a negative number plus an, another negative number. Now, why do we use the uh, parentheses for the second negative number? It's because we have these two symbols in a row. Whenever we have two symbols in a row, plus minus or minus minus, we want to use parentheses to separate it. Uh, the reason for this, I can give you a scenario. Say, if you have five minus negative five, suppose you have this, okay? And if you don't use the parentheses, and if you write these two symbols, even though they are the same, one is a minus, one is negative, if you write, these two symbols so close that the readers don't see the gap in between, they could take it as five minus five. And that's going to be a big difference. Okay. Now, when we add two negative numbers, we do it the exact same way in terms of the logic. When two numbers have the same sign, it means they go in the same direction. No matter in which direction, it will add up. Let's interpret this and this in terms of money. You have $5, since that's a positive number, that's your money, it's not your debt. And you get another $8. Now, how many dollars do you have now? You have 13, that is common sense, right? Now, look at the second one. You have $5 debt because it's negative number. Now you add another $8 debt. How many dollars debt you have total? $13 debt, right? $13 debt. It makes sense, right? But in terms of mathematics, we don't always interpret it in terms of money. We want to know the logic behind this interpretation, general logic. And the general logic is that when two numbers have same sign, they go in the same direction, no matter which direction, it will add up. Okay, now our second objective, we want to know how to add integers with different signs. In other words, have two numbers, one is positive, one is negative. How do we add them together? And how do we add them together to make sense? And how do we add them together fast? So let's look at our second example. Suppose we have a debt of $200 on a credit card account, and we make a payment of $80. After the payment, what is the new balance, right? 
So let's solve this. First, since we want to use integers to represent these numbers, that will be represented by a negative number and the credit will be represented by a positive number. So originally we have $200 debt. Now we have a $80 payment. When you have payment, that's your credit. It's going to reduce your debt, right? They are opposite. That's why the next one will going, uh, is going to be a positive number. So when you add positive number, you don't have to write this positive sign. So we can write this directly, 200 plus 80. And you know from common sense, after you pay $80, your total debt will be reduced to $120, right? $120. So still debt, $120. Now, next page, we are going to uh, look at how we add two numbers with opposite signs, or you can say with different signs, and a little bit faster. Now, our example three, we are going to add these two uh, we have these two questions, adding two numbers with different signs, right? Notice that the first one, the positive number is bigger than negative number in terms of the absolute value. We just learned absolute value in the last video, or in terms of the size of these two numbers. 28 is bigger than 16, but the other one is opposite. Positive number has smaller size, and negative number has bigger size. So we want to make sense out of this. We want to add them quickly. Now, first, I'm going to break it down so that we can see the logic behind this operation. Now, I'm going to break this uh, 28 into two positive numbers. One is 12. One is 16. So does it make sense to you? 28 equals 12 plus six, 16. So it is true, right? Then we have this add negative 16. Now you see you have positive 16 here, you have negative 16 here, they cancel out, right? It's like you have $16 debt, you have $16 uh, credit, and they cancel out. You still have $12 left. So in terms of money, if you have $28 and you have $16 debt, your net amount is going to be $12 after you consider the debt. Now let's look at the second one. And we are going to go through the same logic here. Eventually, we don't need to break it down. We just look at it, we know the answer. This is a precise uh, so that you know the logic behind these operations. Now this time, I'm going to break down and this is negative 24. So negative 24 can be written as negative 10 plus negative 14. We already learned from the previous uh, slides. And when they have same sign, they add up. So negative 10 and negative 14 is negative 24, right? And guess what? Positive 10 and negative 10, they cancel again. So we have a negative 14 left. Now let's interpret this in terms of money again, just help understand it. So you have $10, now you get $24 debt. After they cancel out, you still have $14 debt as a net amount, right? But these two have something in common in terms of how we add them together. The dead thing that is common is that look at the magnitude. In either case, the one with smaller magnitude get canceled. So this one 16 canceled from 18, that's how you get 12. 12 is like left over after this two combined. Since this positive number is bigger in magnitude, the left over will come from the one with a bigger magnitude. Same thing here. The magnitude of 24 is bigger than 10. 
So after they cancel out the smaller one, you have left over from the bigger one. The bigger one, the difference is 14. So that's negative 14. In other words, in either case, the left over is from the bigger number and takes a number from the number with a bigger absolute value, depending on which one has bigger uh, magnitude. So one has bigger magnitude, it's dominant one. It will have left over. Okay, here is your first set of exercise questions. And all of the answers to these exercise questions are on the are in the common area uh, below the video. Now let's look at our next example. This time we're gonna add multiple integers together. You could have multiple negative numbers, multiple positive numbers in this kind of questions. So I'm gonna show you two different approaches. Uh, between these two, there's no say uh, one way, one approach is better than the other one. I just present both of them and it's your choice. You just uh, take the one that you feel more comfortable with, okay? Now, the first one, I'm just go from left to the right because between addition, uh, they're all additions. There's no different operations. I just go from left to the right. And um, we do it step by step. Negative 14 plus 26, if you look at this two, 26 is bigger, right? They have opposite signs. That means the smaller one going to get canceled. We have uh, left over from the bigger one. Left over is 12. So this step gives us 12. I just copy the rest and do it step by step. Now I do this addition. So this time 18 is bigger and 12 is smaller. 12 is get canceled. We get the left over from 18, which is a six. Left over means difference between these two magnitudes of these two numbers. So I get six, but it's negative six because, because the left over from a negative number. Now I copy the rest. Now I do this operation. Apparently 15 is bigger, the so left over is positive nine. So you don't have to write positive sign in front of the number if it's the first number. And then add negative 32. Again, 32 is bigger than nine in terms of magnitude. So nine get canceled. And then you have left over from 32, which is 23. That is negative 23. And that's the final answer. Uh, what is uh, my second approach? I sec my second approach is that I accumulate all of the positive number together, and then I accumulate all of the negative number together, then add them up. So let's look at the negative one. So negative 14, I'm gonna write it out. Negative 14 plus negative 18 uh, plus negative 32, then plus all of the positive ones, 26 and 15. Now you can see we have all three negative number I together. We learned on the previous slides that since they have the same sign, they go in the same direction. In this case, negative direction, they all add up. So for that reason, I can just use my calculator to add all these three numbers together without using negative sign because I know the final answer will be negative. I just add the magnitude together. So 14, 18, 32. 14 plus 18 plus 32. So we get negative 64. We know it's negative already. Then plus I get these two together, these two add together is 41. So positive plus positive, still positive, right? Now, uh, these two are opposite and 45 is smaller in, in, in magnitude. So 41 get canceled. You get 64, the difference between 64 and, uh, and uh, 41, the difference is 23. Left over is 23, and it is from a, the negative number. So negative 23. So we got exactly the same answer. It's supposed to be the same answer, right? So it's the same question. Sure, it has the same. 
Sinan. Your second uh, exercise uh, set. Now, next topic, we want to know what is a additive inverse. Basically, additive inverse, just another way to say the opposite number. So we know positive five and negative five are opposite numbers. Positive 100 and negative 100 are negative uh, are opposite numbers. So this is the definition. Two numbers whose sum is zero. Some example, is that true? 15 plus negative 15 is zero, they cancel out. Negative nine plus positive nine is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. So this is the concept of additive inverse. In, in other words, just opposite of a number. So what is a uh, additive inverse of uh, 32? The answer is negative 32. What is the uh, additive inverse of negative 32? Answer is positive 32. It's just opposite of, of the given number. Now let's look at the next uh, objective. We want to solve application problems involving addition of integers. So let's read it. Jane's credit card statement showed a closing balance of $240. So we're going to use negative 240 because this is the debt. Since that time, she made the following transactions. What is her new balance now? So those transactions are on the next page. Remember, she has a uh, closing balance of $240 debt before uh, the, the, the new transactions. So here it is. These are the transactions. Remember, uh, previous balance, closing balance was 240. That's, a, that's that. It's going to be a negative number. Then uh, she has four transactions. These are charges. These are going to be new debt. And then in the end, she made a payment of $210. Payment is to reduce the debt. So this is a credit. So this is going to be a positive number uh, uh, relative to the debt, right? You use a negative number to represent debt. Your payment is going to be a positive number. So let's set it up. So she started, uh, started with $240 debt and I, all of the four debts amount to it. So plus negative 15, plus negative 55, plus uh, negative 12, plus negative 13. Then she has this payment, which is credit, which is positive, plus 310. Uh, we can uh, manually do this calculation, but if you understand it, and you can use your calculator. So since all of these uh, five numbers are negative, they go in the same direction and they will add up. I'm just add those, those six numbers as positive numbers since I already know the final answer is negative. I don't have to repeatedly type in those negative signs, right? So 240 plus 15, plus 55, plus 12. That's all, oh, plus 13, oh, almost a missed one. Plus 13, and that's her total debt, negative 335. Then she made a payment of 310. I, I guess everybody can uh, do this uh, calculation uh, mentally. So these two have opposite sign. The smaller one will get canceled. You have left over. So this is 10, this is 35. They all have three in the front. We don't need to worry about three. 35, 10, difference 25, right? So negative 25. That means after paying this, uh, made this payment of $310, uh, her new balance is $25 on the credit card uh, uh, balance. It's uh, still debt. Now, your, your third exercise, which is also an application problem. Now, we have another one, uh, application problem involving the addition of uh, integers. And this, this is our last, last example for today's video. 
uh, let's read this information. By the way, when you solve an application problems, it is uh, super important that you read the description carefully and understand the information before you jump to the calculation. The higher you go, the more important to fully understand the information. Okay. Uh, a research submarine is at the depth of 458 feet. So that's a below sea level. It's going to be represented by a negative number. The submarine's sonar, dete uh, sonar detects that the ocean floor is another 175 feet down. What will be the depth if the submarine descends to the ocean floor? That means getting further down below the surface, right? So this is going to be another negative 175 feet down because they go in the same direction. They should have same sign, both negative. Uh, the second question, the submarine is designed to withstand the pressure from the surrounding water up to a depth of 600 feet. That's by design. In other words, it cannot go below 600 feet depth. Is it safe to allow the submarine to descend to the ocean floor in this case? So we have to compare the total depth of submarine when it lands on the ocean floor to 600 feet designed uh, capability of the depth, right? So first, the submarine already at negative this is the solution. at negative 458 feet, which means below surface. Same. Uh, they are in the same direction. So negative 175 and so the results, they are in the same direction. We just add these two numbers together, 458 plus 175, 633 feet below. So negative 633 feet. Now the design is 600 feet below. It's negative 600. If you draw it to compare, so this is a sea level. This is the floor here. Here is the floor. So distance is 633. And distance is this. If we want to represent it using a sun number, it would be negative 633, right? But by design, the submarine can only uh, withstand 600 feet depth. So suppose it is here, 600 negative 600. Now this is beyond that higher pressure. This, it is not safe. So the answer is not safe to go to the floor. Yep, that's the end of this video. See you in the next video.